Somebody used to like me a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I'm sure deep inside he loves you. Four months after Arsenal's skipper was sold to Juventus, Manchester United's captain had left the club. Roy Keane has gone by mutual agreement. Following criticism of his teammates, Sir Alex Ferguson decided Roy Keane had to go. When he went into his office on November the 18th, 2005, that Friday morning, did you expect him to say, Yeah, no, I'd, up? I'd, taught, I'd taught my lawyer the night before. The manager said to me, listen, I think we've come to the end. I said, you're right, we had. Well, I'm, I'm not aware of it, nor is Noel, and uh, I've spoken to Brian Lennon today. No. Is it just total fiction? It is fiction. I'd obviously lost respect for him, he'd lost respect for me, whatever had gone on in a few weeks. Um, Alex Ferguson thanked me for uh, my 11 and a half years at the club. I had to remind him I'd been there for 12 and a half. Um, again, I think that was all part of the game, you know. And I felt what would be best for Man United if they felt I was some sort of loose cannon, shall we say, was to leave. What was your emotion walking out of that door? Um, I kind of thought, I just knew that, that that was business. Got my boots uh, and drove out. And as I was driving out, obviously players were coming into training. I think one or two of them thought, what's going on here? Maybe I'm not well or something. Um, yeah, and drove back. Again, don't don't think I'm some sort of machine here. And I'm, you know, I was, I was upset. Of course I was upset. And I did shed a few tears in my car outside the training ground for about two minutes. But also taught myself I need to, you know, I need to get on with my life now and, and get home and... Uh, and get on with it. Did Sir Alex time it right with you in letting you go? Absolutely not. 